Good morning. Welcome to SCADA World YouTube channel. Today we have the Friday and we will talk about the graphics and graphic list inside the WinCC V7. As you see on screen, I prepared the 1, 2, 3, 4 PNG files. This files has transparency background so we can use in our WinCC application to display some motor status inside application window. Okay, so I have all inside my project. I will create the new window in graphic designer window and I will use this for future status display of my motor. Okay, so on the right side we have the graphic objects and we have 1, 2, 3, 4 PNG. In the effects we have the global color scheme and we can delete this option so we have transparency. Okay, so now I will put the all motors on my screen. number three and number four. All graphics is about the displaying the different status of our motor. So for example the gray is the switched off motor, the red one is the error in our motor and for example the green is okay it's running and if we have the a warning we have some symbol on the uh, element symbol yeah okay so now i need something to display dynamically my status so i prepared the status drive it will be just the the int okay so gray will be displayed when I have the status zero, so my motor is not running. And I will use the bool value yes and no to make sure that our motor is displaying or not displayed. Okay, so red one is when when we have the status, for example, one, it's also bull. And we need to make the same with all our graphics. Okay, and now we have the IO field. In this IO field, we can display our status drive and we can assign new value for our status so we can test our graphics okay and text status okay so generally we have the simple graphic displaying on our screen so every time we change the status of our drive we should have the different graphic displayed on our screen so as you see the 0 1 2 on 3 we don't have any and on the 4 we have the warning status this is the basics you can make a lot of PNGs, SVGs on your screen and you can display your changes. Now I want to show you the graphic list. So for example, we can create the motor status and this graphic list will display the same options like we did them in manual things. So now we have the basic picture is one, two, three, four the range from a uh, range to it's from 4 okay so for status 0 we will have the 0 1 3 and 4 yes so 
on the four it's the warning we can also make some the flashing i will put we will have the flashing between the warning status and the green status okay so we have the graphic list with name motor status now on the status display option you will have the graphic object and we have status display and this status display we can use some graphic list okay we, we have motor status we have the gray options right now it's normal to make the changes with the white and high and we have the current status the current status we can make the dynamically with our drive status so after we put the status drive we will have the different status displayed so our status drive is one status drive is two yes it's green and for example status drive is now four so we should have the flashing as you see this kind of graphic list is look good and you can use in your application so you create the graphic list once and you can set up in your all application in your all window application so it's better to use for example the graphic list not only the the static pictures okay thanks for watching see you in next video join our mailing list and see you and bye